Resonations Update Tier List. Okay, so uh, I was just scrolling to YouTube and I found out a video by a user called Brio. Sorry if I mispronounce that. And he made a Resonations Update Tier List. So yeah, um, I asked him if I can, you know, do this on my own and he said yes. So um, he, he, please, after you watch this video, go check out his channel. Anyways, let's get right into this. First of all, Antarctica. So, Antarctica update, um, the, aka the 100 million visits update. What did it add? Antarctica as a country. Yes, yeah, so the update wasn't really, you know, big or anything. It was kind of disappointing for 100 million visits. The, the one thing I really like about Antarctica is that it has one titanium. Because titanium is so hard to get in this game. But yeah, that's about it. So I'll, I'll rate Antarctica E. Alright, skins update. Um, I think that the skins update is kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool that uh, you can form like the European Union and get the German World to skin. Same with the, uh, the Russian Cold War skins. So yeah, see there. Resource update. Uh, I am combining both the oil and the resource update here, by the way. So resource update actually made the Middle East a lot richer. Same with Central Asia, which, you know, is great. And uh, the fact that you need resources to build factories, which can give you other good stuff. Yeah, it's great. I think that this update was a really good update. So I'm going to give it a A tier. <gasps> Population growth. Okay. Oh boy. Now this update kind of came because of the nuke update mainly. But I, I have a problem with the update. So here's the thing. Um... Late game. Late game run is cancer. And yeah, you have infinite money, infinite manpower. Yeah. But overall, in early game, um, you can actually grow back f after being nuked. Well, it's not early game, but yeah. So I think it's overall an okay update. D. And here we go. Nukes. Arguably the most controversial update in the whole game. But it did add nukes to the game. Uh, they're really expensive and you can usually get them only in late game because of uranium and you need research but overall in my opinion the new cup that is kind of i i don't i i never wanted nukes but at the same time it didn't really change much right now i i there's probably a lot of people that actually really like the new cup that but i myself i don't know it just didn't change like anything for me at least so yeah either treaty of it oh boy this update change a lot you no longer have to actually conquer the entire country to peace this already itself it makes it so good because you can just select cities and then force peace if you have 90 percent of the cities and then the liberation i mean i know that no one uses liberation like actually but still you, you, the ability to get free to select what you want to take is great and the fact that um after you capitulate a nation you can like pick exactly what you're gonna annex like it's great Especially for events, like you don't have to have a player playing the country to set it up. So yeah, I would say the 3D update as here. And also the fact that you can now enforce ideology and can take the resources now. Like, why was that in the game at first? Now events. I hate this. I hate this update. Why? Because events suck. Like, yeah, it's cool. Like, if you're doing something bad in a war, you get debuffs or... You know, strikers, but my problem is you get strikers way too often. At the start of the game, like three seconds in, you can get strikers. And then you can also get the other one with demonstrations, and then you just fucked in the beginning of the game. But when, when, when you get those um, events where you can assassinate someone, right? If you assassinate, you always end up losing. They, they will always find out. And corruption is just so annoying. But overall, it's not that bad. It could be a lot worse. It's still an addition I want in the game. I just want it to be like changed a bit. Policies. Okay. Um, the policies actually have some game impact, which is uh, especially in early game. Like you can uh, start off with more research, or you can get less military costs, more manpower, more stability, all sort of stuff that can help even reduce uh, corruption. So overall, I think that the policies policies was a great update. B tier. Military update. Okay, so I know that this shouldn't be really merged all together, but I'm doing it anyways. So I'm merging uh, the aircraft, navy, and the uh, doctrines and military leaders all together into the military update. So first of all, navy. Um, the great addition. Even though aircraft carriers are extremely broken and I hate them, navy is just something that you want in a strategy game. 
like this so i think that that's great minus the aircraft carrier then of course aircraft yeah i like the aircraft though the only thing i would like is in research for them to have like protection like more hp more defense because in late game they just die to our anti-aircraft immediately too fast but yeah overall aircraft is good um doctrine is also great mass attacks with station capital fleet and stuff like that it gives you options if you want to do like submarines only or i don't know why would you pick the destroyer one but the capital fleet is the best so and simple planes you can change you could choose like strategic bombing for bombers or try to get air security with fighters and generous is also just great even though one annoying thing is they, they always die really fast when you train that's my main problem you just train and they die i, I don't understand how they can die from training but okay so overall a tier update canals this update although it's you know a small update is so good it was so annoying going through denmark just to get to the Baltic Sea. So the Kill Canal was really good and the Suez as well. And also Panama Canal. They're all great and I think that this update is a better update. Alright, technology revamp. So um I actually didn't play when the update came out and we pre the technology before that. But I asked my good friend Tomul, uh subscribe to the channel. And yeah he told me that basically um there were 19 technologies and they were all military based and it sucked like useless and after the revamp technology became really important you know you, you got your economic tree your military tree aircraft tree navy tree tank tree a uh, pol pol political tree and yeah and even research you can increase your research speed which is really important and the update actually made technology really useful help so i would say um yeah as there mobile controls okay here i'm this might be a bit controversial but i think that the mobile control update is kind of meh Hear me out, there are a lot of people that don't have a computer and just want to play for the four. Okay, that's fine. And I, I, I agree with this update, like, mobile control, sure, why not? The problem is, um, you still cannot form a line in mobile. Why? You can't select your, you can't specialize your troops. Why? Like, those small things just annoy me. Well, yeah, th that is why, um, I think that the mobile controls will be C tier. Okay, stability mechanics. So, um, the stability update basically, yeah, added stability. It added a way for you to actually collapse, get debuffs, the lower the stability, and buffs the higher the stability. So, I think that this uh, update was really important for the game overall. Like, um, without, the, without it, you can just not have your capital and never collapse, which I think it's really dumb. And you can, you know, fix your stability by uh, putting up learner spending and stuff like that. So overall, I think the stability update was a really welcome update. Um, you changed the game a lot. You actually have to like manage stability. So yeah, I think uh, stability update gets an A tier. <sighs> Factions. I don't care about anything. Factions, I don't like them. First of all, the obvious problem. You can just create it at the start of the game. Everyone joins it and then the server is that. Boom. No one can invade anyone. Okay, I understand. That doesn't always happen. And in late game, maybe maybe factions are like useful. Okay, here's my second problem. Um with factions. You can't force peace members. You can only peace out the leader, which means you can't actually force peace members. So you can't take all of the territory if you miss like one city. That's so annoying. And another fact is once once a faction member is declared moron. You're at war, you can't go out unless the leader, you know, white pieces or something like that. And I and I, I get it, I get it. But it's just dumb. You you won't be able to form, you won't you know, your stability will die if you're democratic. That's it. I I I do I despise this update. And this is the only update that's going into F tier, okay? Now that my rant is over, um biomes. Okay. Uh, I really like the biomes update. I think that um, it added more depth into the game, it made Middle East a pain to invade. But it's realistic, like desert and stuff, so yeah, it's understandable. And it made Russia also a pain, so um, if I was to tier this before the specialization update, it would probably be like CD somewhere in there. But because of the specialization, it makes it like not as bad. So, um, B tier. Now the terrain update, similar to the biomes update, except they don't change, well, they're always the same. And yeah, um, it made Iran a pain to invade and it's still a pain to invade Iran. It also changes, um, it, made, it makes tanks less uh, usable, like uh, worse in certain terrain like mountains, which is realistic and I like that. And yeah, I think that overall it's a pretty good update. 
I'll put it in the same tier as the biomes. Okay, War Exhaustion. Now this is the last... Um, basically it's stability, but for war. Uh, I really like War Exhaustion. Why? Because um, you can't just have like 20 trillion troops die in a war and then you lose nothing. And uh, it decreases your stability, or makes you know people rebel more, stuff like that. So I think that overall this is a pretty good update. It makes invading a, a lot more painful. And another problem I have uh, with the update, it seems like there's a bug where like if you're at war with many nations, um, you get like war exhaustion faster even if you're not losing like the men to those nations. Or something like that. I don't know, it's weird, but I just feel like that, that kind of would sit down a bit but overall i think it's still a good update i'm debating if b or c well it's definitely better than the mobile controls so yeah b tier i think this is my update tier list um i hope you enjoyed um if you like this video i think you'll like this one as well goodbye